Duke Energy continues to upgrade substations around the state nearly a year now after the power grid attack in Moore County. The power company hosted a live line demonstration today showing Durham County first responders how to stay safe when working near power lines. WRAL's Monica Casey shows us the danger that power lines can actually pose to all of us. What do a balloon, a kite line, and a metal ladder have in common? All of them can affect the power coming into your home. A low hum and sparks. Both could be signs of something sitting on a power line. In the case of two substations in Moore County last December, bullets damaged the equipment, causing major issues in the power grid. In a demonstration, Duke Energy crews showed first responders the risks around power lines. You never know when the lines are energized, and you can't ever assume that if they're down, that they're not. The company is working to expand its capacity, improving substations throughout Durham County with pole replacements and wire size upgrades. In Deer Everett says the growth expected in the region is unprecedented. We've got projects ahead over the next several years. We're going to be doing a lot of work to make sure we're modernizing our grid, making sure it's ready for capacity to bring on all that growth and, and solar and other diverse mixes of energy. Duke Energy's load growth is projected to surge by 35,000 gigawatt hours in the next 15 years. That's more than the annual electric generation of Delaware, Maine, and and New Hampshire combined. In the middle of all of the new technology and changes, Everett says Duke wants to make sure anyone who may be near their equipment, especially first responders, stay safe. We want our employees as well as the Durham County employees to go home the same way they came. In Durham, Monica Casey, WRAL News. By the way, still no arrests in those targeted attacks in Moore County last year. There are rewards of up to $100,000 for any information. In